Today's video is going to answer the question how to meet other local roller skaters in your community and how to join your local skating community. So this video is inspired by Ania. Thank you so much for commenting on my recent community post. This video goes out to you and anyone else who may be feeling that this is difficult. So one, find places that people are skating in your area, like in your city. So look up the roller rinks, look up the skate park, look up trails and any events that are there locally. If there's a roller derby team, go to a bow. Out of all the options that you see, just pick one and go to it. So whether it be an event, there's a local skate group that's hosting a meetup that you can go to. Maybe there's a community skate night, a benefit, a contest. Definitely attend of it if there is one. Put yourself out there, meet people. If you have a local skate shop, shop at it. Build relationships and connections there. Get to know the people at the shop. I think skate shops are a undervalued resource in the community and I think that supporting those even just going in and looking at stuff and meeting the people that work there and the owner and talking with them and them getting to know you it can be really positive and beneficial so if you do have a local skate shop even if it's a, youth, a skateboard shop like in your roller skater you should go check it out if there's something you can do to support them like buy some bearings that would be amazing too I feel like all of my experiences in going to skate shops has resulted in me getting to know more people and has just been really encouraging and it's cool to see the shop and get to know people. So because skate shops are very established in their local skate community. So if you go to your local skate shop, you're really going to get to know how your local community is. They usually have like event flyers and posters at the skate shop. So if there are any local community skate events, they would be posted there because people are always trying to promote those to get skaters to show up and where else better to promote those than at a skate shop. So definitely even just to check out like if they have any events posted there flyers and you know you can just ask someone there and see I'm new to the area is there anything cool that I should know about I'm trying to like meet some other skaters I quad skate um, I park skate do you know of any other people who do that I'm sure that they would have something to share with you like they know the locals they know who's around they know what people are up to and they will let you know about it I would definitely talk to like you know get to know the local skate shop connect with them one other way that you can make a lot of friendships with local roller skaters quickly is is to join a local roller derby team. Right now, a lot of informational meetings or interest meetings are happening. Some are online, some are in person. Basically, a lot of roller derby teams are starting practice, starting their boot camps. They're just like trainings that are open to the public to new interested skaters who want to join the team or learn how to skate. If you are interested, that's actually how I got into the roller skating community was I attended a boot camp and that was just like a training and I met a ton of roller skaters that way and it was really uh, an awesome positive experience and I learned a lot about skating along the way too. That's an option if you want to get super involved in your community and connected, join your local roller derby team or at least show up to an informational meeting and you can learn about joining and meet some people. Meeting people who have been around for a long time, they know a lot, they're connected, they've been involved in a lot. So connecting to those people and usually they're very passionate because they have stayed this long and stuck with it. So they're invested in the community. So they are invested in you as a new part of that community. Meeting those people and connecting with them is really, really valuable and they probably will be interested in investing in you. You know, obviously we're not entitled to that, but yeah, they, I bet they would be interested in at least getting you off on the right foot, so. So if there's someone who's been around a long time, like hang out with that person, it can be really beneficial and you can learn a lot from them and they will connect you to where you need to be connected. And they have a lot of wisdom because they have a lot of experience. And if you trust them, they could be a really valuable part of your skate community and relationships. But when you're first starting off, hopefully, best case scenario, you're meeting people who have that mindset that if they're established, then it's their responsibility to welcome you in and accept you and to encourage you and to bring you in and make you feel apart and like you belong. That's how I view leadership and that's how I view if you're established what you should do. You should be inviting the new people in because they're way out of their comfort zone. They don't know they're completely new. Like like, it just makes it so much easier for them. You as the new person, that weight and responsibility shouldn't be on you, but sometimes that leadership isn't there or that mentality isn't there and that's not your fault and it does make it harder for you. But if that's something you run into, I could make another whole video on like tips for that and like just being aware of the expectations of the roles of the new person and those established people can really um, help guide you in seeing if something is for you or, for, or not. Um, and if you wanna be a part of that or if it's maybe gonna be 
expecting more of you than you can you can give them or you know maybe it just doesn't match your values and your um, beliefs within a community and that's okay if that's the case I mean you don't want to try and fit yourself into something that you don't align with you want to align with something that has the same vision or has the same values as you instead of trying to fit yourself into something see if something fits you that's what I'm trying to say here as long as you are open to it, I think that you will build relationships within your community and I think the best thing to be is yourself because then people meet the authentic version of you. You don't want to put on a fake version of yourself to others. Just be yourself. And I know that sounds like the most cliche advice in making friendship, but genuinely like just be yourself because I realize now as I've matured that you shouldn't be afraid of people rejecting you for being your authentic self. So what I mean by that is if you know you're being your most authentic self with people, you're being genuine and you're being honest about who you are and true to who you are and they don't like you, don't take that as a personal reflection on you. And that will take a lot of pressure off of when you meet people, especially for the first time and worrying about if they like you or not, because we do all want to be like. But I just want to encourage you now, like down the road, you don't want to like make connections with people on a fake projection of who you think they want you to be. The main thing that I would recommend doing is to go where skaters are. Look at places that people would go to skate and go there. So this means if you have a local roller skating rink, go to skate at the rink. Get to know the people there, be friendly, say hello, really put yourself out there. But that is the main thing that I think will help you the most is to show up at places people skate and keep showing up. That's the number one tip I have for you. This has worked for me, and even if you aren't super high initiative and outgoing, it still can work for you because you're gonna meet people by showing up, and by consistently showing up, people start to recognize you, they start to notice that you're local and invite you in. Saying yes to opportunities, not all of them, but if you get an invite and someone asks you, go try it out, put yourself outside of your comfort zone, and show up and keep showing up. Because my mentality is if you're a new person, you're like a breath of fresh air. Like you are needed in that community and you bring something in bringing yourself and showing up. It's just like an added light to the room. See yourself as that when you do show up to things and know that you are bringing something that no one else has because you're bringing yourself. And I think that people really appreciate that. And if they don't, like that's on them, not you, because you do belong and they are lucky to have you there. And I hope that you feel welcomed in and feel part of that community because you are. Comment below if you would like any more tips. I have so many more. I am here for you. I'm happy to help out. I'm very passionate about this specifically. I want everyone to feel a part of their community and to have fun and a good time skating just being themselves. If you're new here, my name is Brianna. I go by my skate name here on my channel, Simon Slays. I post helpful resources, tips, tutorials for roller skaters. Basically, my channel is a resource for you. I would really appreciate if you would support me as a creator and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like and let me know that that you appreciated it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh,